Right, the today I'm with David Wilson from Plump Farm and he's going to show me around. Yes, this this is a, a, a commemoration that started this, a commemoration of uh, the, the disaster that we had in this area uh, exactly a hundred years ago uh, when we when you had the world's worst train disaster. And uh, on Friday, as you know, we had Princess Anne up here uh, joining the commemoration. And I, I was on that committee and they asked me if I could put in uh, an arrangement of machinery that would, agricultural machinery, that would have been used probably between the First and Second World Wars. And that is what this is. Some of it is a little bit later, but a lot of it is 1920, 30 and 40s. This here, for instance, the start, this is known as a Fergie Brown. This tractor uh, is 1938. They, they would not, they're, they're quite well sought after. They would not be a great tractor at all. They would be very light and apparently they were very prone to... Right. This, this was for grass seed, George. Uh -huh. You know, a man would stand with that. It, or, or a woman, let's get this right, getting right. in big trouble here. Yeah, it will uh, be. <laughs> and uh, put the grass seed in there and this this back and forward and it, and it, it threw the seed to each side and uh, this this would still work. I mean, there's no, there's no problem. Steep bankings or anything like that, right. ideal. So Ideal. Certainly. Now, <coughs> we're getting into the realm of some... Uh, what, what was done... Can, can in, we come back again? In, in right, hang on. Just right. That, that crucial, uh, cruel-looking device there is uh, it was used for taking the tails off the Clydesdales. Right. That's Ooh. what that was for. Yeah, and, and underneath... Can I hand that? This, <coughs> this was for... Uh, the, before we took the horns off cattle, we used to train the horns. You'd put these at the end of the hut and you would adjust them every few days and, and that would pull the horns in. They wanted them looking in rather than looking out. Right. And, and that's what that was for. I've certainly never seen anything no, like that no, before. No, 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 no. <coughs> right then, George, this, is, this would work today. This is quite sensible. It, right. it's, it's a device for, if, if a, a block drain, you could push this into a drain and you shut the end, it was just actually like a cup or a, a pull a bit of sacking out or anything of that sort. It's quite clever. Uh -huh. it, it, you know, simple, but clever. simple but clever. Very good. Right. Uh, here again, George. This. We're coming back here again. Uh, can I turn sure. it around a wee bit for Right, oh, I certainly are. <coughs> That's the same as well, the. We're working together here, <laughs> David. <laughs> we best we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Th this here was another, uh, the same as what we saw over the other side, for chopping turnips. Right, right. And that's why it's tied so that nobody chops their fingers or anything else. Good idea. Good, well, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Can we come in here, Mum? Sort of get away from the, the wind, please. Don't. Right. right. This, okay. this here, uh, uh, for sowing grass seeds or any other type of seeds, uh, a man just walks with this uh, like a like a barrow, uh, and. I believe it could sow up to eight acres a day, uh, th this device. Very practical and, uh, and uh, uh, you know, I can see this doing quite a good job. And would they actually have something trailing so they knew where they'd been? Well, it's either that or go by the, by the man's foot or the device's foot. But right. what you're saying, I know what you're getting at and that, that could very well be possible. Uh-huh. Okay? Right, we'll just stop there. That's the grass seed one. Stick it in your face. Aye. The old photographs uh, of, of, of in the streets of where people were uh, collecting scrap metal and such like, and it's got rags, bottles, bone on this. So there again, that's that's the period. We're trying to uh, get what is interesting not long after the last war, apparently, so the, uh, the, the First World War. So, so that, that is what that would be. A heavy haulage. <laughs> that one. That's all right. That's okay. Right, that's fine. Heavy holes and you go. Right, ready yeah. for action. Well, we, we did discuss for earlier on uh, uh, of how things operated in time, and time was, you, it had to be the plough first, and then uh, it, it, you had to work the soil up with these grubbers, as we call them, or cultivators, and then to stitch or to ridge up, this was the machine used for ridging. This is what we call a stitcher. You, uh -huh. you see, it's different from a plough. It's got plates at each side of it. So it's make, making a furrow. 
No. W- well, it makes a ridge. A ridge. A, like nice. a, a high ridge. So and that's then, and probably then, the opposite of what I was saying. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. I, I, and you would put the seeds on top of the high, the, the ridge. Right. So you. Okay. Plant, that's the same, same as happens today. Planting turnips and things. Yeah, like yeah. That. For, right. mainly, mainly, uh, that's right. Mainly for turnips. Right. A wee yeah. minute there. Uh, David's going to tell me what's what once we put this back down. Right, David. Just put it down. Well, it's fine. Actually, You'll come towards I... me. When I acquired this, George, I didn't know what it was. Well, my mother was alive in these days and she knew what it was because she used to be involved with cheese making. And this was a machine that was used, they put that on top of the vats and, and it was used for cutting the, the ingredients for, 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 for the cheese making. So that is what that is. So, what, so that makes it into crumbs, is it? Well, it makes it into slices. It's a, a slice of it. Yeah. Right, so it's not a crumbler, it's a slicer. No, it's, well, you can see it's, it slices it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. okay. Uh-huh. Ah, that's better when I've got... Yeah. I can oh, get right, a wee bit yeah, closer yeah, yeah, to yeah. you. I, well, I, I think it, this, obviously, I think it's uh, 1960s, I haven't got the right date of this just now, uh, but uh, th- that, that goes and runs well and very well made and... I mean, when you look at something like that, there is a lot of charisma about charisma about. It's certainly the way a very, very the, nice the, car. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, 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 so I'm, I'm quite happy with that. And oh. made in the UK. Then, yes. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll not go into that, George. What we're. No, no. But, uh, no yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Well made then. Right. We'll need to come. It's really windy here, David. So come back towards me, so I can get the whole machine in. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, self explanatory it, 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 it's just a, a potato spinner. I mean, uh, anybody growing potatoes had one of these, or well, there were so many different varieties, but that is what that one is, and uh, I, I would have to go look, go forward and have a look to see what, what kind it is. It's a Blackstone All oh, right, good for you. Spinner. Right, well done. Well so done. I see, well done. so why is there two, two spinners what? at the back? Ah, well, that one spun it out, and this one will be going in the different direction, and it helped to clean the, the potatoes and, and put them into a neater row. Right, right, so... Yep. One battered them one way and one battered them oh, well, another. They weren't necessarily sort of battered at all, no, no. they'd be sellable. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Right, right. We're coming back here. I don't know whether you can get a picture inside that. Ah, I can indeed. Oh dear. Hang on. Ah, there we are. I pr- uh, can see it now. Right, carry on. Well, this this is one that uh, is really. Uh, a fair bit of interest has been on this during the display because they all thought it was a turnip cutter, but it is not. This is uh, for crystallising ice. It would be uh, days before refrigeration. I think uh, mansion houses would have ice houses where they would put the ice in the winter time and then it, they would keep it until the spring and it was put through this device here. It was for, you know, to put onto their vegetables and such like to make them uh, last a little bit longer. Right. So that, that, that's pretty... Very, in, very interesting. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty yeah. unusual piece, that. It certainly right? is. Yep. Now we'll just stop. OK. Right. Well, this follows on to what we were talking about, about ridging the soil up, and this uh, <coughs> would be for putting the seeds on top of the ridges. Right. So that's... Very similar to what they do today, but the tractor today probably had maybe ten of these behind, That's and correct. they would be precision. Whereas this isn't; it would be, uh, they would have to be the, the seeds would have to be hoed, you know, singled out after they were put in with this machine. Right. Just stop that. Right. Well, well the, 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 this there again was uh, for uh, slicing turnips. You put the turnips in in the top there, turn the handle. It'd be pretty hard work, uh, and and you probably have baskets underneath to catch the turnips, and you'd feed sheep or feed cattle, whatever else, after they come through this device here. Right. Because t- right. turnips played a big part uh, in feeding livestock uh, in you know between the wars. Right. Turnips and hay would be uh, turnips, hay, and oats. I should imagine would be the three main ingredients. I for the livestock. For the livestock. Right. Uh huh. We'll just come back here again. Can, can you get that in? Yep. Yep. Uh, I'll just. Right. I'm gonna go to the other side of you again. You're bigger than me. <laughs> well, <coughs> this right. this here is a straw chopper. Um, you, you put the straw in along here. I think some of them had elevators on them, like when you put the straw into here, and that there's some rollers, ratchet rollers on the side mm-hmm. that pull the straw through. And if you can see the blades there, when that was turning, that chopped the straw because the straw uh, had to be chopped for for the horses. 
So uh, uh, there again, uh, most farms with, with horses would have a straw chopper. Right. Quite a gruesome looking piece of equipment, <laughs> but uh, that's what uh, that no, was. No wonder you lost yeah, fingers yeah, in yeah, 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 that's what that is. And this would okay. be used at the... No, no, th this is a practical type thing in, in, in ways. Um, this is Pollock, Pollock from Mochlin. Uh, that company is still very much in business with, with uh, uh, scrapers in the cubicle sheds and different things. And this would be behind a thrashing mill and you would put the sacks down in the bottom. The sacks would be filled. You would then turn the handle up and you w w the, 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 the sack would be at shoulder height to make, to, so that you wouldn't have to lift it from, from ground level, which was quite sensible except they put far too much grain. I could never understand why they had to put 10 and 12 stone in a sack. In, in a bag? In a bag, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, and they carried up, up Yeah, up, up they'd be the asked to stagger upstairs and no wonder so many people have got bad backs, bad hips, and it was, I've never fully understood why they had to have such, so much stuff in these sacks, but so there we are. Sort of 25 kilograms is max yeah, nowadays. Yeah, that is correct, and I think that, that is quite sensible. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, actually, this, uh, I, I, I'm quite proud of this one. I think I have about 12 different types of ploughs, but this one, I'm told, was uh, the type of plough that Robbie Burns would have used. Now, I'm quite sure Peter Hanna and his committee up at uh, Cannonbury may uh, think differently, but it would be quite interesting. So, yes, I'm, I'm quite proud of that, and I think we'll just finish on that note there. Right, OK, thanks, David. That was good. Is that OK? Right, we're now inside. David had forgotten a few things, but... I'm going to catch them before we go. Right, David? It's all age when you say and forget things. The, a, sen uh, a senior moment. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, that, well, these, as you can see, these were uh, for cutting peat. Um, we have quite a lot of moss and peat in this area, and uh, that, that, that's, that's what uh, the, the, the fuel source would be at one time. At one time. Uh -huh. And lying down there is the uh, stirrup pump. There would be, must have been thousands of these things built, uh, produced at the time. Now, there, there is, you're all right here, George, there is something right. here that I'm, I'm, I really think is quite an interesting thing. This was used... I can stand back now, that. This was used before the railways, before the railways, and it was used to change the wheels on the London Glasgow stagecoach. It's stamped, it's got the Glasgow stamp on the side. So that, that's what this is, it, it, it is actually quite a... A museum piece. I don't know how I Certainly is. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Right. Right. So we're going to head down to the farm now. 